In this video, I'm gonna break down a slow flip. It's a purchase strategy that has some really interesting benefits. If this is your first time to my channel, thank you so much for coming by. Um, as a real estate agent, I try to give you three different types of videos. The first type of video are these real estate tip videos, where I'm gonna walk you through different buying strategies and selling strategies so that you know what to expect when you get here. The second type of video that I do are home tours. These are where I'm gonna take you on unique tours of properties in the area so that you know what you're getting into before you come. The third type of video are community interviews. These are interviews with professionals and influential people in Santa Cruz County that it will give you a sense of what's going on in the area and what type of people are here. So you might be thinking, what's a slow flip? And why do I wanna do that? I thought flips needed to be fast, Pete. Well, there are fast flips for sure. But a slow flip is where you take advantage of a long-term tax strategy called two out of the last five years. And this is where you then purchase a property that needs a little bit of work, you improve it over time, and then you capitalize on that two out of the last five years strategy to not pay any capital gains or as little as possible. So as you probably know, a property flip is when somebody buys in low and then sells for a higher price. And during the time between when they buy and when they sell, they try to improve the property or do what's necessary to improve the property as far as a, a standpoint goes. So sometimes it's as easy as cleaning it up and staging it. Sometimes it's more of uh, handling a specific problem like evicting a certain tenant that's being difficult for the seller or handling a red tag on the property if there's a code violation. You know, there's all sorts of reasons that people have a hard time selling their properties. And if you're a savvy investor, you can figure out where to fit in and where to, to help out, where to provide solutions and earn that value. So a slow flip is specifically situated towards either a novice investor or somebody who's making a first time purchase, something like that. And the difference really is, is that you're gonna take advantage of a tax strategy called two out of the last five years. So that just means that as a primary residence, you'll need to live in it for two out of any of the last five years. So that means you could rent it out on or off for three years in between, but just on your taxes, you're gonna to wanna to show that it's a primary residence for at least two of those years. So if you purchase, let's say in the first year, you start doing your improvements, you live at the property, and then you need to maybe rent it out for some reason, then you can rent it out for a couple of years and then come back and live there as a primary residence or just live there as a primary residence the whole time. I just wanna explain that it's, you just have to live in it for two out of the last five years in general. And then you can go ahead and sell it as a primary residence and make sure you get that tax exclusion. The reason this is so great is because you have plenty of time you have a place to live while you're doing the work. You have plenty of time to improve the property. And then once you sell it, if you're a single person, you can take $250,000 worth of gain from your basis purchase price to the sale price. If that delta is $250,000 or less, then you should be able to take a tax-free gain. If you're married, you can take a delta of up to $500,000 gain tax-free. And again, I wanna stress, I'm not a CPA. Don't take this as tax advice please contact your CPA or your accountant to see what type of tax impact this is gonna have for you. So you're saying, why would I ever use a slow flip rather than a fast flip? Well, that's a good question. Fast flips are usually for seasoned investors who know exactly what they're doing. They have teams of contractors and construction professionals and project managers perhaps um, to help them manage those projects quickly and effectively. They also usually have cash to purchase or they can leverage a relationship with a hard money lender, which is gonna be an expensive way to purchase a property because of the points that you'll have to pay and the high interest rates. All right, so let's wrap this up with the advantages of using a slow flip rather than a fast flip. So if you're using a slow flip, you can usually buy the property with a standard loan. Hopefully if it's in good enough condition, you know, you're buying a flip, so you're gonna be buying something that is in a distressed condition in one way, shape or form but hopefully you can finance it with a standard loan. That's the first advantage. The second advantage is that you get to live there during the process. So hopefully it's in a livable condition or you can quickly make it into a livable condition so that you can have a place to live while you're working on a real estate investment or a project. Third advantage is the tax advantage that you get from using the two out of the last five years strategy. So again, this is really for somebody that's trying to get their foot in the door and they have the skills or they have the connections to contractors or construction professionals that can help them take advantage of an opportunity. Um, and then if you can make it happen, if you can make it work and you can sell for a profit later, then you'll be one step closer to your actual dream home or one step closer to your next investment if you wanna keep that property as an investment. You can do a cash out refinance or maybe a home equity line of credit on that property 
and then purchase your next property or your next project. So a slow flip is more geared towards an early stage investor, a novice investor, or maybe a first time home buyer just looking to make sure that they hack in the value and, um, and give themselves a way to beat the market no matter what. Thank you so much for watching this video on slow flips. If you have any more questions about what this strategy entails or how you can do it yourself or maybe what that might look like, please give me a call. My direct line is 831-471-7330 and I can't wait to talk to you.